Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I have two hauls for you guys. They obviously involve candles. When do they not? They usually always involve candles. But this one is from the Yankee Candle Outlet and then also TJ Maxx. Um, this TJ Maxx store is one that I usually don't go to, so I did find some interesting things that we'll talk about in a bit. But first, let me start out with the Yankee Candle. Now, um, the outlet got some kind of rare, quote-unquote rare, candles in, and I thought that I would uh, buy the two that they had in stock. And the sale going on that they had was buy two medium jar candles, get the third for free. So I didn't think that that was, um, or so I thought that that was a really good deal. So I paid $26.23 for three medium jars. Um, if you guys don't know, the medium jars, like regular price at Yankee Candle Outlet is $12.49. So I did get one of those for free. Another thing that I noticed when I went to Yankee Candle Outlet is for the rewards program, um, usually you have to give like your name, um, I don't know if you have to give your address, I know your email address, your telephone number, like all these lists of things, and they changed it, now they just ask for your telephone number, so you don't need your email or all of that kind of stuff, um, it just goes by the telephone number that you have for your Yankee Candle Rewards, so if you guys are interested in signing up for the Yankee Candle Rewards, the link for that will be down below in my description box. So... What did I get? Um, this first candle I have absolutely no information about. This is Capri Coast Peach. I don't know if you guys out there have any information on it. That is what the candle looks like here. I'm sorry about my lighting and whatnot. You guys know how I've been dealing with the lighting. But anyway, that is what this one looks like. It smells magnificent. It is definitely not... Um, Mm, a synthetic peach. It is not like a drink of a peach. It is more of like a candied peach. There's a lot of sugar going on in here, a lot of sweetness, a lot of like um, that syrupy type of note to it. I really like it a lot, so I'm glad that I picked this one up. Um, it was poured in 2017, obviously. It has the new label. I have a funny feeling that this candle is going to come out spring 2018. Don't quote me but I just have a feeling that that's when it's going to come out. Okay, so the second medium jar that I got was Crackling Wood Fire. This one says a passion for fragrance. So we know that that is um, a Europe candle that is going to be coming out for Christmas time. So this one, you guys, smells so good. Oh my gosh, the amber in here, you guys, is amazing. Now I do want to look up real quick um, on my iPad here just to kind of talk about what they're going to be coming out with for the UK fragrances for Christmas. So um, the Crackling Wood Fire is one of them along with the Perfect Tree, the Magic of Christmas, and Spiced White Cocoa. So if you guys are near an outlet, um, that is where you will possibly find these fragrances that are from Europe. Um, but yeah, I love this one. It has, like I said, a lot of amber in it. They did have a scent description too, which I was kind of like surprised about um, <clears throat> on their website. Now, not on the Yankee Candle website. I think I just found this like in the internet somewhere. It says, um, build winter memories around a warm cedar firewood kindled with sweet whispers of nutmeg and warm amber. With the fragrance notes, the top was nutmeg, mirth, and cinnamon. The mid was vanilla and amber, and the base was sandalwood, cedarwood, smoky, and incense. And I literally pick up on all of these. If you guys love that kind of like crackling fire type of fragrance, you're definitely going to love this one. Oh my gosh, this little honey had to come up by me. I just got home from work and I haven't really seen her all day. I wanted to get this video recorded. Um, so yeah, she's going to be barking. So anyway, that was my Yankee candle haul. Um, my third candle, I actually had my younger daughter with me and she loved this fragrance so much that she picked one of these up um, as well. So she got the free candle. So Kudos to you, hunty. Um, now let's get into TJ Maxx. 
So at TJ Maxx, I really wasn't looking for anything in particular. Um, I just wanted to see what they had in the store. So um, let's see. Let's start out with beauty first. I really didn't pick up a lot of things, but I did need facial wipes. So I got these. This is by the company BC, which is Beauty Concepts, and it is in the Citrus and Vitamin E facial wipes. They look like this. And I haven't used these before. They were $3.99, um, comparable to $5. I thought that the packaging was super cute on these. Um, you get 60 wipes. And they're supposed to cleanse, detoxify, moisturize, and restore. Um, and I did actually open them up in the store just to kind of get a little sniffity sniff. And they smell amazing. They definitely have a citrus type of fragrance. And yeah, so I like these in a quick pinch if I don't have time to use my Clarisonic or anything like that. And then I went into like the beauty products and I didn't find barely anything. Usually this TJ Maxx is stacked and I maybe get there, mm, I don't know, four times a year but it wasn't at this point in time. I did find Philosophy Pumpkin Icing. Um, this is in the Shampoo, Shower Gel, or Bubble Bath, whichever you prefer. Um, and let's see, it doesn't really have, it just says um, cream cheese, pumpkin, vanilla, cupcake, frosting, cookies, whatever. Um, I did not smell this yet. I didn't open it. Okay, let's open it. Okay. It smells like pumpkin icing, like pumpkin frosting. So that's going to be nice um, for the fall, which is here, by the way. Fall is here, if you guys don't know. Okay, and then I did pick up some candles. So I found three candles, and... Um, two of them are Village and one of them is the DW. Now, they did have a lot of DW pumpkin fragrances, but the last time I went to, I think it was Appleton, I picked up a whole bunch of the DW pumpkin. So I really didn't need any more of those. But I did find this one and I believe that this is an older fragrance. I don't think that this is new at all. This is the Evergreen Forest. If you guys have seen this, let me know. It smells so good. So this is considered their large jar, um, two wicks. You can get these all over TJ Maxx, you guys, and Marshalls. Oh my God, it smells so good. It was $7.99, comparable to $12, and I did just pull it up um, online here, and it reads, fresh evergreen and dewy green moss, wet florals, and warm leather. So I was so happy to get that. And then let's talk about the village candles that I got. So this first one is a limited edition. I was really happy to get this. This is Forest Hike. Have you guys seen this one? It was $9.99, so I did pay $10 for it. But oh my God, you guys, it's... It smells so good. It smells like green moss really early in the morning on a tree with fallen leaves and crisp, cool weather. That's exactly what it is. It is definitely a green fragrance. So if you don't like green, grassy, earthy, herbal, you're not going to like this. This one online reads, um, a fragrance that adds mystery and intrigue with a woodsy aroma blend of moss, juniper, and timber. Um, so I just feel like this one was a good find because it was a limited edition. And then the other one that I found that I couldn't find anything online for was the vanilla sandalwood. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. There's like leather in here. The sandalwood is beautiful and the vanilla is just kicking it up a notch. It smells so good. So these are two wick, if I didn't say that before. Always, always, always put an Aluma lid on these Village candles right when you start out because the wicks are very puny and they will eventually um, just go out on the candle and you'll have problems with burning. So pick up a Yankee candle, Aluma lid, and you won't have problems. But that is what the label looks like here. And I thought that it would just be really, really nice for fall. And Snooky already jumped down off the bed. I am done with this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of my orifices are um, in the description box. So follow me everywhere and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone.